that takes us to J.K. Dobbins. Um, 50% snap uh, percentage, 35 snaps, 37% route participation. Uh, but he had 23 point or 22.3 PPR points, 13 attempts, 41 yards, uh, one touchdown on the ground, four for four, four, four in the reception category, and then a little uh, kind of shovel TD reception for uh, J.K. Dobbins there. Now, you know, does J.K. Dobbins look back to that spark freak uh, status that he was not at quite. one point? No, but probably not. Um, but not, not not at less than four yards a clip on on the ground. But really, if you can, if we can just see him being the guy in this offense, and just how bad the other running backs have been. Justice Hill's actually been pretty decent, but what he can give this offense and the scoring opportunities that he can get, and when the running game it, it can be more than just Lamar Jackson and be explosive, it's really uh, just a whole other. Uh, side to the Ravens that I feel like they're desperately kind of missing and J.K. Dobbins can give them that snap and this week I probably wouldn't have played him if you played him good for you I was waiting another week and this coming week I'm fine with putting him in the lineup but it comes yeah. back to the guy's been banged up coming back from a, from an injury a pretty yeah. serious one gets back on the field scores some touchdowns gets the usage pretty much is this a buy sell hold uh, for you for for J.K. Dobbins well, you, first off, you know, you love to see him ramping up, right? Went from 35 uh, snaps or went from 26 snaps to 35 snaps, right? From a from a 44% snap share to a 50% ramping up a little bit. Uh, same exact route participation at 37% both those weeks, but he's caught six of six targets, you know? I don't right. know that he was on pace to catch that many last year, so like, or the year before. You love to see... If you can get any passing that, game work. Right, and he's scoring touchdowns, too. He had a touchdown this week uh, on that reception, like you mentioned. So just everything's ramping up. The receiving, you didn't know if Lamar was going to throw it to a running back, you know, and he's doing it to J.K., averaging three catches a game. That's money in the bank. So I, I trending up, I think I think he's definitely a hold and maybe even a buy. Uh, I think him as a hold. I think he's just a hold for me right now. I'm a little interested to see what what he, what he looks like when uh, when Gus comes back too. I think that's yeah. something we're missing. Just Edwards coming back could sir, make sir, that backfield interesting. No sells for anyone. Certainly could. I mean, I think it's all relative. I mean, it just depends on where you are, what your team build is. We we have a roster that's one of our cheaper rosters, but it's in the UDPL league with a, a bunch of other quote unquote experts, and we, we've been. Uh, we inherited a team and we tried to buy and and go all in and it didn't work out. The the, the big expensive guys that we bought, bought all were Le'Veon Bell and guys like that that didn't really work out for us. Uh, so we've been in sort of a two year little rebuild here. Um, and J.K. Dobbins was somebody we traded. We traded Chubb for a first in J.K. Dobbins last year. Um, so, you know, if I could get a first for J.K. Dobbins somehow this season on a rebuilding team, maybe I would maybe I would, I would take that. Entertain that. What do you think? Sorry, say the question again. I said if I if if you could get a first for J.K. Dobbins on a on let's just call it a rebuilding team a little bit, would that be just a straight up twenty three first? Mm -hmm. Like if if we could get that right now in the UDPL, would you take it? Because I probably would. I think I would too. I don't think you're getting that though. I don't think you are, at least right now. Seriously? Good God almighty, this 23 class. Because we're not, not going to get a it's, high it one. It doesn't matter about the class. It's, just, it's basically just getting the first for, for the for the running back. Who, He's only 23 years old on an sure. extremely it's, potent it, offense. Like, But I'm just worried about what, I mean, what is he going to look like long term for that offense? Like, is it better than he is right now, which is pretty damn good. Right? I mean, he's ramping up. He just had 22 fantasy points. I mean, he scored two touchdowns. Scored, yeah, he scored two touchdowns and had. Oh, he's, he's he's not good because he's scoring too many touchdowns. No, that's not, that's not like, what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying like he scored he's two short regress. yardage touchdowns from the goal line. That's all I'm saying. Like it's just it's not. I wouldn't expect oh, J.K. Dobbins. That he's getting goal line carries sure, for sure from for sure Lamar Jackson. And if, I I I like J.K. Dobbins just fine. I'm just I, I gave you a scenario where I'm saying if, if I'm a rebuilding team. Man, I want the I'm, J.K. Dobbins. I'd, I'd probably trade in for that first because I'm I'm probably that's probably not going to be my only first. My objective is to get multiple firsts and then be able to buy somebody who I know is good and a little more safe maybe than J.K. Dobbins or be able to dominate the draft. 
if or you're when it comes draft day, you can move that draft capital, which is that's, sought after for proven assets. That's what I was saying. I what can either buy that? a more proven asset yeah. with the picks or that, that I feel a little bit better about. And, you know, I, I would in most other cases, if it wasn't just like a straight up rebuilding team, I'd probably hold like. Yeah, I think he's a probable hold because I don't think you're getting a first anywhere right now. I don't think you are. And I'd like to get a first plus a prospect would be would be the ideal selling position for what J.K. Dobbins is and, and really could get back to you. Like, I'm not disagreeing with you. Like, I like I like the offense that 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 could be potentially there. They don't throw it to their running back a whole lot. So if this keeps up, then that would be awesome. But, you know, Gus isn't around right now and they haven't necessarily said, hey, we're going to give this backfield to one guy, which doesn't make you feel you, you haven't seen that yet, uh, which doesn't make you feel necessarily wonderful um and he's coming off of a fairly serious knee injury which you know next week you know you see it all it could be a groin or a hammy from coming off of a injury like that after he's been ramped up for a couple of weeks so even a late first on a good sound to like a contender the guy's got a good team good record probably gonna make if the playoffs. I, like, like i said if i'm rebuilding i'm trying to stockpile first so it's you know that's gonna be my I'm trying to get three or four of them. So now I have a, an option of things to do, you know, throughout the season or when I get to the draft, it makes it gives me good insurance on the picks because those guys can't get hurt. Whereas if I get to week, if I go two more weeks with J.K. Dobbins on the roster and something happens to him, now I'm in the same position I was for the last year and a half holding yeah. on to J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, now your team sucks, which is good if you're rebuilding. And, and one of the assets I could have got to... Yeah move is you know so that's really it's it's not an indictment on jk dobbins it's more just what i'm trying to do if i'm rebuilding and he might not be the core guy that i'm keeping to rebuild around my running back room yeah so shout out to the dynasty war zone i assume that's memphis what up dude he, he says why not move jk for a nice wide receiver like olave i don't think you're getting olave if you can't if you don't think you can get a first next year then you probably can't get olave for dobbins right now Although maybe he is in the UDPL, so maybe he has maybe Olave. Maybe he has Olave and he wants Dobbins. I mean, how? I don't us. hate it. <laughs> I don't hate that at all. Um, an no. Air yards, you know? He's uh -oh. crushing air yards. If, <laughs> if uh, you know, I'm, and it's, it doesn't have to, you know, you certainly don't have to trade running back for running back. Um, if, yeah. if you're rebuilding, it's the safer move is certainly to, build, to trade for a wide receiver like Olave or, you know, a, a younger fella, maybe. If you could get like a Kenneth Walker. And a little something on top of that. I think that's something that would be oh. interesting in a rebuild. Now we're talking. I think it's possible. I think that's 100% well, possible. You could probably get Kenneth Walker for a 23 first right now. We'll get there. Somebody would probably sell him for that, yeah. Yeah. They can't wait. Uh, but no, I, I agree with you. I, I don't hate that at all. Um, so, you know, is there... In a, like I said, though, in most cases, I'm probably just holding on to J.K. Dobbins to, yeah, see, to yeah. see how this goes, unless I'm in a... It'd have to be a very niche situation. Right. Agreed. Well, good point, Zach. You said to, there's not as many likes as there are people watching. Make sure you hit that like. Subscribe. <laughs> Noty button. Appreciate you, Zach. What up, dude?